So I'm hoping this will show up well enough here. This is the old uh, Hampton Bay style mounting bracket. And you can see I have the old style box. It's real narrow across here. So normal safety precautions, powers off and double checked and verified and everything so I can poke around. But this box is narrower than the newer style. And I have verified uh, that it is an actual ceiling fan mount. So it's got a bracket that runs out to the, uh, the joist up there. But when I look at my newer style uh, Hunter brand of fan mount, um, the bracket's too wide. In other words, the, the holes at the bare minimum width won't, won't match up with my old narrower box. We need to have a box that's about another half inch wider, which is the, the more modern style, but this house isn't that old. It's not an antique. It was built in 1960, so this is probably pretty common with a lot of houses out there. And I really kind of looked at, you know, I could probably take a really just a piece of flat steel, flat iron, or a aluminum strap, uh, whatever I might have in the garage, and probably drill some holes. Um, but it'd be nice to have it offset because this bracket does have these flush mount pads, so I don't want it sitting directly on top of an additional rod. I really want it, you know, turned in an offset there. So I drove down to Home Depot and they have these handy dandy things. It'll they label it an all-purpose crossbar. I think I saw it labeled a universal mount as well. Um, I bought two of them because I'm doing two fans. Uh, these were $4 a piece, if that shows up very well. I know this is not the greatest camera, the best lighting. but um, Lowe's had them under a different brand name but looked to be exactly the same thing. There were also some slight variations on this design. Uh, I've already put one up in the boys' room and it works very well. It's thin enough that when it sits flat then that new style mounting bracket can sit at that offset and those pads to keep it from wobbling will still press up nice and tight uh, without this bracket being in the way. So looking back again, here's as far over as we can go and hit that hole for the mounting box and then we can see the other hole for the mounting box right there and there's no way our slot's going to make it. So. We need that bracket to make it wider instead of having that bracket in the way we put the bracket up to hit those two holes and then turn this bracket at an offset so that these feet up here still sit flush Whoop. still sit flat and flush against the uh, ceiling there so we don't have wobble so here's the bracket there uh, universal bracket mounted up to the wall or sorry to the ceiling <laughs> uh sitting in the in the smaller box holes and then these wider holes is where we'll mount that wider bracket. And this is how big the newer style boxes are. This way I don't have to go up and uh, replace that box. So here we are with the, the new style uh, Hunter bracket mounted up to that universal bracket. And you can see there's enough room in that bracket that you've got some adjustment uh, side to side, just a little bit like you would with a newer box. Uh, I have not dealt with a uh, Hampton Bay uh, new one in a few years, but at least the older, uh, you know, back a few years ago when I put them up, their brackets were narrow enough in here and their slots were wide enough that they would fit the old style box and the wider new style box. So this seems to be a new hunter only issue unless the new Hampton Bays have changed as well. That's it in a nutshell. I mean, uh, just a $4 part and that'll adapt that. And then with these feet on the hunter bracket, uh, you can see they sit flush even with this bracket in there, uh, up nice and tight. So there's not gonna be any wobble in that bracket making the ceiling fan wobble.